Hello friends, today we are discussing the one more device UPS. What is the abbreviation of UPS? Why we are using this UPS? Inside of the UPS, what are the conversion is takes place one by one? We are discussing. First, if you go for the UPS, what is the abbreviation of UPS? UPS means uninterrupted. Uninterrupted power supply. UPS abbreviation means uninterrupted power supply means non-stopping power without stopping power is going continuously that is called uninterrupted power supply next if you go what is the use of UPS mainly the use of UPS one is the quality of power Oh, the UPS output is the quality of power will come in. and one more is the uninterrupted means with the help of battery banks with the help of battery banks some backup some backup is coming with the help of battery banks backup is coming and one more is the uninterrupted these are the one is the quality of power power quality second one is the uninterrupted uninterrupted third one is the backup third one is the backup these are all the uh, use, with using the ups these are all the advantage quality of power uninterrupted power backup of backup also is coming with help of battery banks mainly the ups you are using some important loads for example servers or some computers are some CCTV which are some loads are very very important without stopping continuously running those loads we are using this UPS for uses for servers second one is the computers third one is the CCTV surveillance CCTV areas also we are using this UPS power supply these are all the Usage, uh, these are all the uses and these where you will use mainly in this areas you are using using inside of the parts what are the parts is there and how it was uh, operating one by one we'll discuss first if you this is the this is the rectifier ac to dc conversion is happening this is the power supply this is the power supply after that this is the battery bank this is the battery bank this is the battery bank this is the inverter this is the inverter This is the load. This is the load. This is also power supply. This is also power supply. This is the diagram for the UPS. The main incoming power supply coming from here. This is the rectifier. This is the rectifier. This rectifier, you can convert the AC power into DC power. The rectifier mainly work function is only the AC power, you can convert it into the DC power. After that, here some DC capacitors is there. DC capacitors is there. Here some AC capacitors is there. After that, the DC is not in pure DC. Some uh, AC sparks, some ripple AC is available. Those ripple AC blocks 
few DC only passing this DC capacitors are like its uh, DC capacitors here, uh, DC or AC capacitors here working like as a filters. It will block the AC ripple. Pure DC is passing into this batteries or passing into this inverter. If it is the online UPS, the pure DC is passing into your batteries and simultaneously the pure DC is passing to this inverter. If it is the online UPS, the use of battery banks or it will store the DC power. DC power was storing in battery banks. After this DC, the inverter, the DC is converting to AC with the help of inverter. The DC power is converting to AC power with the help of inverter we are changing. After that, we are changing in AC also. Some uh, ripples, uh, DC, ripple, DC ripples, it will block. Pure AC only, it will allow. Pure AC only, it will allow. The load it will go in. The load is going to the power supply is going to the loads. The power supply is going to the loads. If it is a normal operation, in case suddenly the inverter is failed, suddenly the inverter is failed with the help of this is the static switch. This is the static bypass. This is the manual bypass. This is the manual bypass. This is the static switch. This is switch is called as static switch. This switch is called as manual switch. If inverter is failed with the help of static switch, this is open. The power supply is going this. With the help of static bypass, with the help of static bypass, the load is the power is going to load. After that, in case the total entire this static bypass on the UPS also is not working with help of manual bypass, with help of manual bypass, the load is given to continuously. The load is given to the, the power is given to the continuously with the load. One more uh, device also is there inside of this uh, UPS isolation transformer. The use of isolation transformer in, in the use of isolation transformer in UPS the isolate the isolation of the neutral output to the source output and the second one is the limit the fault current it will limit the fault current for down downstream level it will limit the fault current and the third one is the reducing the harmonics reducing the generated harmonics means Turbulent harmonics, it will block the turbulent harmonics. And the fourth one is called the UPS output voltage. The output voltage of the UPS and the load voltage is changing.